This video is a follow-up to my previous video on these dizzy glue objects. I've been using these now for a few months to make a number of projects, such as these uh, bowls and these small miniature dizzy eggs. And in doing these projects, I learned a few things and I made a few improvements to the dizzy glue jig, which I'd like to show you and explain. In the previous video in which I made these miniature dizzy eggs, I actually cut some slots into my dizzy glue up jig so I could uh, glue up these smaller discs. It was either that or make a smaller jig, and I didn't want to make another set of jigs just to make a very small disc. So I put these slots in there, I was able to get my spring clamps in there to clamp it. But I've since even gone away from that, I don't use spring clamps anymore. And I'll describe uh, why I'm not using spring clamps. One of the first changes I made is, in the original design I used these thumb screws to tighten up your boards in the Dizzy glue up jig. And I was gluing up a project using these uh, thumb screws and when I put it in the press and I was pressing down on it one of these pins actually moved and one of my discs actually slid uh, from that you know pressure going down on a disc and probably just because I didn't have the thumb screw tight enough my fingers aren't as strong as they used to be and I guess I just didn't tighten it tight enough so what I've done for my own projects I've gone to these set screws and these set screws are just standard you know 20 uh, thread per inch, quarter inch uh, set screws and I just find it's much more efficient and they're much more accurate and I get them much tighter that these pins don't move. So it's much easier than using the thumb screws in my opinion. But the thumb screws still work fine and you may prefer those for your application. The other major change I made is I used these plastic sleeves to go over the pins in my Dizzy Glue Jig. One of our customers recommended using straws on these pins. These are quarters dimer to pins, and when you're doing a glue up to make these laminate discs, you get a lot of glue on the pins, and it's a lot of work getting that glue off. So you've got to scrape it off, use a wire wheel, and it's a lot of work. By using a straw, you can just take the straw off and throw it away. But I wasn't able to find a straw with an exactly quarter inch ID, uh, but I was able to find some plastic tubing. This plastic tubing has a quarter inch ID that slides over these pins nice and tight. And after you do a glue up, you can scrape it off. And I'll show how I clean these up in a minute too, because it's really easy to clean these up and reuse them. Or you can put new sleeves on. But these uh, sleeves serve a number of purposes. Number one, they keep the glue uh, off your pins, so much easier to clean up for using these jigs over and over again. The other major advantage is this plastic has a little bit of give, and when you clamp against your disc, you can get it nice and tight, but you also you can, you can rotate it to get alignment on your disc. So it gives you a much more efficient way of lining up your disc to get them so they don't move at all, but you can still move them to get your correct alignment, and uh, so when you clamp, they don't move laterally at all. So it gives you a much better glue up for your glue up uh, systems. And this is, in fact, this is a set I just took off, just took up the system. These have uh, just been uh, coming out of the press. They were glued up. I can loosen this up to remove them. And you see there's, there's glue on these pins. And this is my disc that came out of the system, you know, perfectly aligned. And actually, after I scrape that glue off, it actually looks like this even better. And that alignment is perfect on those discs. The other advantage of using these sleeves is I no longer uh, use the spring clamps. When I'm clamping up a board now, I've been able to clamp as many as 15 boards at one time because I have this little bit of give in these pins with these sleeves on it. And in doing so, I glue up 15 jigs, and then instead of uh, using the spring clamps, I just use a, a spacer on top, take it to my press, and press it down and glue up all 15 discs at one time uh, with no lateral movement of those discs. So it's just much more efficient of way of gluing up these laminate discs. Also by doing this, since I'm not using the spring clamps anymore, I don't need these smaller jigs. I can use the same larger jig to glue up any size disc, from, from small disc up to larger disc. So I'll be making less of these discs for future projects. One disc will serve all my uh, glue up of the laminate disc. Okay, I just finished gluing up this set of 15 discs. 
uh, with this jig with the plastic sleeves on the pins. And you can probably see from this that the alignment of those discs is perfect. There's almost no lateral movement of those pieces as they were being glued. So when the pieces come out of the jig on these, these pins, on these sleeves, there is a lot of you know glue on these sleeves that needs to be scraped off. And usually what I've been doing lately is, is using a, a scalpel to scrape most of it off. Get the big pieces off. And then use some coarse steel wool to finish cleaning up. And I've used these same sleeves over, you know, probably a dozen times already. It cleans it up nicely. Then you slip it back on these pins. They just slide on, you know, quite easily. You could also leave the uh, sleeves on the pins. And you can do the same thing like this. I just find it a little bit easier to take the sleeves off. But I've done it both ways. So the first thing in setting up my system, I need to uh, set up all of these pins, and I like to get them pretty much, you know, straight. So usually what I do, I take a disc and I line it up this way, you know, to get to get these two sides kind of in the right place, using this center pin as a guide, and then I rotate it 90 degrees and kind of do the same thing to get that. That just gets it close to where I want it to be. Then I'll tweak it in a little bit closer. I get closer to uh, gluing these up. Now I have my my laminate disc, and I do have my mark on here. You should be able to see that mark on there. They're all on the same side, and my process is to take these discs and rotate them over like this, so I keep that orientation. I always want to keep that uh, mark that I put on here before I cut these in the same orientation. Because even though these may be symmetric, if I rotate this 180 degrees, it's not going to be as perfect. So I like to keep those all in the same orientation. Because you know, even though they're, the boards are cut to the same thickness, they might be off a thousandth of an inch, and times you know, 30, 40 disc it adds up. Or maybe the glue clamp tighter on one side than the other, so they're not perfectly symmetrical. They're off a little bit. So I always keep my mark on the same side. That's the side it was when I cut it off on the bandsaw. And again, the process is to take these and rotate them like this. I take my first disc and I rotate it into place. And I'm using this center, you know, Paduk and Yellow Heart bands as my orientation patterns. And what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be taking these discs show you with two of these. And you can see here that they're perfectly aligned. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate them the width of that yellow heart piece in the center, or right next to the center piece. And that's the orientation I'll be using all my discs. Just a, it's about two degree orientation, a rotation that I'll be doing there. And so these things will be end up at like a 45 degree when I'm done. So I take my first disc and I put it on here and I always rotate my disc clockwise. So I want to make sure these pins don't get in the way of, of seeing any of my uh, pieces as I glue them up. So I usually start here and as I go around I can get all the way over to here before this pin gets in the way. So I can get 15 discs on here just by uh, setting my first alignment there. Now you see I got a little bit of movement here. So I take my, tighten it up. So I eliminate that movement. So we've got a little bit of movement. Just tighten it up a little bit more. So now I've got no movement. But I can still slide this. It's tight. 
but there's no lateral movement, so these discs will be nice and tight when I glue them up. And then I'll glue these discs up one at a time. I may have to loosen the pin as I put a disc in, uh, as if it's too tight, so I can do it as I go along. The other thing I do when I'm putting a new disc on, when I have it glued up, I don't put it in like this. I usually put it in like this. And then get my alignment close, right down here. Get it close to where I want it, and then I drop it in. And if it's too tight, I need to loosen the pin. But you see that dropped in real perfect there. And I can get my alignment right where I want it. And we can kind of show that as a close up. But that's a nice snug fit as you're rotating that. So let me get set to start my glue up here. Okay, I'm once again using Type Bond 3 glue for my glue up. I do like to uh, glue both sides, that way I make sure I have real good coverage. And then I take my disc, as I said, I don't put it down flush, I put it like this to the angle, and kind of line up my two pieces exactly where I want them to line up. When I get this front edge aligned, then I push back the, the sides and back. And there we have our first two pieces aligned. And I just keep going. And you see I'm gluing this piece. I put a lot of pressure to push the glue in, but yet that board's not moving. It's staying right in place where I put it. That's the advantage of using these plastic sleeves. It doesn't move on you. So again, the same process, bring it over, get my position where I want it, get the alignment on this front, this front edge, and then push the back and sides down. And I can still move it a little bit if I need to move it. I can use a little awl here to move a piece if I need to move it, but I find there's almost no need to do that because the pieces stay put once I put it in place because the plastic hold it in place. And I'm just going to repeat the process here. I have 15 discs I'll be gluing up here. It take me about 10 minutes uh, to glue them all up. Okay, there's my 15 discs all glued up. And you can see the alignment is near perfect there. So I just make sure that my clamps are nice and tight. I'll be placing a spacer board on top because these pins are too high to fit in my uh, glue up jig. And this board also keeps things flat. And I'll take this to the press, press it down. And as I'm pressing, I'm making sure uh, that nothing moves. So sometimes the very top one might move on you, you might have to readjust it. So let me take this to the press. And we'll press everything in place. So I have my alignment pieces here, and watch, especially the top one, as I'm clamping. And usually, what I do, I'll put a light pressure at first, and then I'll increase it with time. So let's put some pressure on. You'll see the glue starting to squeeze out from those layers, and just making sure mainly that that top layer, because if anything moves, it's going to be, be the very top layer. As they increase the pressure, you see more and more glue starting to squeeze out. And nothing moved. All 15 discs here came from one laminate disc that I sliced into 15 slices. So all these 15 slices came from one uh, laminate disc. And I glued a 15 disc. I really can't glue up much more than that. It takes me about 10 minutes to apply glue to uh, 15 boards. Anything more than that would take more than 10 minutes, and 10 minutes is about the uh, uh, maximum setup time for Type-On uh, 3 glue. So I won't want to do any more, but uh, 
That's 15 discs at a time. If I need more discs, I just add sections as I go along. So I let that dry now for about uh, half an hour to an hour, and then I'll uh, continue with the project. I have two sets of discs, each 15 layers, and these are near perfect alignment on the disc, as you can see from the pattern. Now what I want to do here is I want to glue these two together to make one segment of uh, 30 of these discs. So I have my alignment all set up. I double checked everything to make sure it aligned. I put my first piece in here. It's nice and tight. It doesn't move. This top one's a fraction of an inch, probably one or two thousand smaller, so it slides actually a little bit easier. So I'll probably tighten it up a little bit more here. That's in there snug now. Got to loosen it to even get it out. So let me go and put glue on these two sections and glue them together. Perfectly aligned. I can check it on both sides. It's right on. Make sure all my clamps are nice and tight. This is moving. And I'll put this in the press. And once again, clamp it down tight. Removing the uh, 15 layers I just clamped about 15 20 minutes ago. So I'll take that out and I'll put this in its place. and let that dry for at least half an hour. This summarizes the changes I made in the Dizzy Glue Up Jig to enable you to get a more accurate alignment of your laminate disc and able you to also glue up more disc at one time so it speeds up the process of gluing up. The main changes I made to the system in the last few uh, months are number one going from the thumb screws to the set screws the thumb screws may work better for your application, but I prefer using the set screws. Uh, you just get it much tighter and less chance of anything moving. The other major change I made is adding these plastic sleeves to my pins on the Dizzy Glue Jig. These plastic sleeves enable you to tighten the disc much tighter, so there's less lateral movement of the disc as they're glued up, and you can actually be a, glue up more disc at a time. In this case, I glued up 15 disc at one time. So it speeded up the process of uh, making these projects. The system could also be used to glue up multiple layers, such as I did here. This is a set I just took out. These are the 15 laminate discs that were glued up, and these are in perfect alignment. <clears throat> Likewise, this is a set of two sets, 15 and 15, total of 30 laminate discs, again, perfectly aligned. So these Disney glue-up jigs, as well as the plastic sleeving material, uh, additional set screws and thumb screws are available on our website. As I come up with additional improvements to design, I'll let you know and I'll post those uh, either on our website or an additional future video. Again, thank you for watching.